Hey YouTube family, this is your girl Points Diva. So this video is gonna be a little different than my normal points and miles and trip review videos. I get a lot of questions about tricks and tips on traveling with babies. So I'm just gonna put it out there first and say it's not easy. So Mr. O traveled very easily through the airport and everything and we went from a party of two to now we're a party of three. So um, just continue watching and I will give you best practices and tips that we've learned along the way. Let's go. Okay, the very first tip, pack as much as you can in your check-in bag. This includes your boppy for those that are nursing or your baby is, I don't know what, six, seven months and they can safely be in this little thing here. We absolutely love that, especially in the hotels. The tip number two, if you're flying American Airlines, they have a new service that started in 2021. It's called Five Star Essentials. And I did have the chance to try this service out out of Charlotte. My baby and I had to travel to Boston by ourselves and y'all I was freaking out. Um, it was so funny because when they um, picked me up or arrived at when I was dropped off at the airport um, they said is it just you and your baby? I was like uh, yeah and I need help so thank you I'm freaking out because it's just me. But it actually wasn't that bad because he was a lot smaller and not as mobile but it's a great service. The price is $149 or you can use 15,000 um, American Airlines Advantage miles. Um, currently at the time of this video it's only in Charlotte Dallas and Miami but I'm pretty sure they will increase the airports but if they don't you know if you're not a flying American Airlines that's okay just arrive to the airport super early take your time ask for help there's so many people y'all that are willing to help like don't be ashamed to say yes can you put my bag up there or yes um do you mind like putting my bottle in my my bag like it's really okay people are so willing to help so arrive early and ask for help. So tip number three, once you get to the check-in um, with a lap infant, uh, you don't have to pay for their ticket, which is great. However, they still do need a ticket. So you can either, sometimes it's been hit or miss whether I can do this online, but definitely you could do it over the phone and you can definitely do it at the kiosk. But when I get to the check-in counter, I do request or ask very nicely for a, a empty seat beside me for free, of course. And this makes a world of difference for your baby on the flight because you can put their blanket down and they can sleep. They can sleep, they can kind of kick around. So having an empty seat beside you makes a world of difference for your flight. All right, the next tip, going through the TSA line. At this point, if you've gone to my website, read a few of my articles, seen some of my YouTube videos, you should have TSA pre-check, okay? You should have one of these freaking cards, doesn't matter which one, that will reimburse you for a TSA pre-check. If not, the fee is is $85, highly recommended um, with a baby. As long as one of the parents has it, um, the baby doesn't need it. However, if you're doing international travel, global entry, everyone needs it. So parents need it as well as the child. But again, it doesn't matter because one of these credit cards will reimburse you for free. So you better have it by the time this video ends. If you don't have it, I don't know what to tell you. So with the TSA pre-check, you can obviously go in the much shorter line. You don't have to take your shoes off. You don't have to take your laptop out of your laptop bag and it just makes a world of difference when you have a full grown baby that you have to carry and especially if you're traveling alone. The number one question that I do get asked quite often is can I take my formula or breast milk through the TSA line? Yes you can. So whether it's in the liquid form or the powder form um, you can pre-make it ahead of time. It doesn't matter. Um, a lot of times they'll see it and they'll say okay you're good um, but most of the time um, they will check it so just kind of put it off to the side and um, they'll do a little inspection make sure it's good and then you're good to go so yes you can take your breast milk or pre-made formula through the TSA line and it will not be an issue it doesn't even matter normally I take two bottles and they're normally okay with 
that. Also, let's just walk you through the whole TSA line. So we're assuming you have TSA pre-check. You go through, you don't have to take your shoes off, you don't have to take your laptop out of your bag. You do, however, need to take your baby out of the stroller. So I always request them um, to do the hand wand uh, for my stroller because I do have the Duna and it does break down to um, like a car seat, but it is pretty big and bulky and I really don't want any issues of them breaking it, putting it through the conveyor belt. But I do have to take my baby out, carry him through the, the x-ray machine. I take him through and everything is all good. So that helps when you are super light. So I literally put everything onto the conveyor belt and then once everything is through, take the baby out, give them my stroller, walk through, Super easy, y'all. I'm just telling you, be super light, as light as possible going through TSA. All right, so the next tip is once you get to the gate, if you weren't able to secure a seat, an empty seat beside you at check-in, then ask the gate agent. And a lot of times they will allow it, again, because that just helps with your baby sleeping um, through the flight. Um, but once you get to that area, I always like to change my baby, make sure I have a good two bottles prepared. And then when he was smaller, I would use my Ergo, Ergo Baby, I think that's what it's called, um, carrier. I would put him in that and then um, put my stroller into my stroller bag and get it checked. That way I'm hands-free and then I'm good to go. Okay, so the last part is once you're on the flight, most airlines will allow families to board early. I think it's right after first class. So definitely take advantage of this. That way you can have some extra time. Again, ask for assistance if you need help with putting your bags up, but, um, always definitely have a bottle prepared. I like to give my baby a bottle, you know, as we're kind of taking off in hopes that 15 minutes within the flight, he will be knocked out. And that's really important. Give your baby a bottle or pacifier at takeoff and landing, both. Okay, something else that I love are little toys. So I don't take a lot. This little thing is perfect because it sticks onto the window and he can just kind of play with it a little bit. And this little toy we've had for such a long time. It lights up, lights up, makes noise. It's a little raggedy now because it's been through it, y'all. But he still loves this thing. So I literally just take the, bring these two toys and that's it. So you don't need a whole lot because your baby should be sleeping, okay? And if you run out of formula, if you run out of milk, um, you know, just always make sure you have extra formula in your bag. Um, and then you can also get water on the plane. They'll provide it to you whenever you need it because they know you have a baby and that's it also I like to put my baby in the little onesie zippers um, I know you guys probably have some really cute outfits for your babies but it just makes it super easy if you need to change your baby on the flight um, because it's a very tight space not all bathrooms have the actual changing table so you have to make sure you go to the right bathroom or the lavatory and so those little zippers where it just zips up super super easy when trying to change your baby on a flight my very last tip is to breathe Okay, you can do it. Listen, I know it's tough, but my husband and I have traveled. We've taken our baby to five countries this year and a few domestic places. So you can really make it happen. It does get a bit more difficult as they become more mobile. So I do plan on updating this video when he does get a little older. But yeah, just take your time, pack ahead of time, get to the airport early, and your baby can start getting those stamps. All right, hit that like and subscribe button.